Pteranodon. Pteranodon is one of the most famous pterosaurs. It was not a dinosaur but lived alongside them. This flying giant soared overseas, hunting for fish. Its head was adorned with a large bony crest, possibly used for balance. Pteranodon disappeared along with other ancient creatures about 66 million years ago. Desungaripterus. Desungaripterus was an unusual pterosaur with a long snout and strong teeth. Its jaws were perfectly suited for cracking the hard shells of mollusks. With a wingspan of about 10 feet, it was an excellent glider. This pterosaur lived around 100 million years ago in what is now China. Desungaripterus thrived near bodies of water, where it easily found food. Dimorphodon. Dimorphodon was a small pterosaur with a wingspan of about 5 feet. Its name means two-shaped tooth because of the different sizes of teeth in its jaws. It had a short snout and large eyes, which helped it see well in twilight. Dimorphodon fed on insects and small animals, hunting in forests. This pterosaur lived during the Jurassic period about 190 million years ago. Geosternbergia. Geosternbergia was a large pterosaur with a wingspan of about 20 feet. It lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago. Geosternbergia had a long, narrow beak with small teeth, ideal for catching fish. Its body was adapted for long-distance flights, making it an excellent glider. This pterosaur inhabited areas near water, where it hunted for prey. Maridactylus. Maridactylus was a large pterosaur with a wingspan of about 20 feet. Its name is linked to the discovery site in Brazil, where its remains were found. This pterosaur had a long crest on its skull, likely used for attracting mates or stabilizing in flight. Maridactylus primarily fed on fish, hunting over bodies of water. It lived during the Cretaceous period about 110 million years ago. Tapajara. Tapajara was a medium-sized pterosaur with a wingspan of about 13 feet. Its name means old being in the Tupi-Guarani language. This pterosaur was notable for its large bony crest on its head, which was likely used for display or aerodynamics. Tapajara fed on fruit, seeds, and possibly small animals, making it one of the earliest known omnivorous pterosaurs. Thanatostracon. Thanatostracon was one of the largest pterosaurs, with a wingspan of up to 30 feet. Its name means, Dragon of Death, reflecting its impressive size. These flying reptiles lived during the Cretaceous period about 86 million years ago in South America. Thanatostracon was likely a carnivore, hunting small animals or scavenging. Its remains were found in Argentina and represent one of the oldest known members of the Asdarchid family. Tropiognathus Tropiognathus was a large pterosaur with a wingspan of about 26 feet. Its name means sharp jaw, referring to the distinctive crest on its snout. Tropiognathus fed on fish, catching prey while flying over water. It lived during the Cretaceous period about 110 million years ago in what is now Brazil. This species is one of the best-known members of the Ornithocaridae family. Barabyrodactylus Barabyrodactylus was a relatively small pterosaur with a wingspan of about 6 to 10 feet. Its remains were found in the United States, and it lived during the Cretaceous period around 100 million years ago. This pterosaur had elongated fingers on its wings, helping it maneuver in the air. It likely fed on small fish and insects. Sierradactylus Sierradactylus was a pterosaur with a wingspan of up to 16 feet, living during the Cretaceous period about 110 million years ago. Its name is tied to the Sierra region in Brazil, where its fossils were discovered. It had powerful jaws with teeth suited for catching fish. Sierradactylus likely hunted in coastal areas, gliding over the water in search of prey. Quetzalcoatlus Quetzalcoatlus was the largest known pterosaur, with a wingspan of up to 33 to 40 feet. Named after the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl, it lived during the Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago, in North America. Quetzalcoatlus was likely a terrestrial predator, hunting small animals and scavenging. Despite its enormous size, it was lightweight and well adapted for long flights. Jehalopterus Jehalopterus was a small pterosaur with a wingspan of about 3 feet. Its name is linked to the Jehal Formation in China, where its fossil remains were found. It lived during the Jurassic period about 160 million years ago and likely fed on insects. This pterosaur had a fur-like covering that helped retain heat. Jehalopterus is one of the earliest known members of the Anarognathidae family, 